Stealth here from Heroes Workshop. Today we're going to be building a Dragon Ball Z Saiyan armor using Pepper Pura Designer and EVA Foam. File link is in the description. You can download it and follow along and build your own. First you need to measure from armpit to armpit the width of your chest using your measuring tape. I measured mine. Mine came out to 16 inches in width. It's an important number. You're going to have to enter it into Pepper Pura Designer under Settings, Change Scale, Set Scale, and in the Width parameter Put in the measurement you get when you measure from armpit to armpit. Ignore me putting 13.5 like a dummy. Just put whatever you get in there and that should sort everything out. Once you change the scale, parts will move around. Make sure you put the parts back into the center of the sheet so that way they don't overlap into the other sheet just to make it easier when you cut it out. Now that you have your measurements sorted out, you can set up your file to print. When you print, you might get a message asking you to adjust the scale. Just ignore it. Otherwise, the measurements you took won't apply to the printout. Then you print out the templates on cardstock paper. The usual, cut out the templates. I use a utility knife. These pieces are very important. What I do is I take some tape. You can use any tape you want. Just use the tape to close these seams. So what you do is you place the template with the tape on it and you squish it down onto cardstock paper and then you trace the template with the fused seams. Then I go over it with a sharpie just to clean up the lines. Now you have a solid template piece. Do the same thing with the other pieces that have those notches in them as well. Then you transfer the templates onto the foam that you're using, flipping the piece as needed to get the other side, and also merging pieces to get larger sections to avoid seams. Then I cut out the pieces. You don't have to do any fancy cuts here. Just cut them out and you should be good. I pretty much heat shaped every piece on this build just to give the armor a more rounded look. So it's not so flat, so I did the chest obviously and all the other parts to follow. Then I took some contact cement, I put it on both sides, spread it with a piece of scrap foam, used the heat gun to accelerate the curing, and merged the pieces together. Then I continued along using the Pepper Core Designer as reference and built the base Saiyan armor. Once you built the base armor, you can put it on and see if it fits. If it's a little too big, you can trim it along the middle, basically the side where I'm connecting there. For me, it was a little too big, so I measured and I marked it with a Sharpie, and then I cut off a strip, and then it fit nice and snug. If it's too small, you may need to scale it up in Peppercore Designer. Okay, you can take some Velcro. You need two of the hook, one of the loop, which is the furry one. Don't glue it, just temporarily put it on there. You need that just to do the sizing for the straps. Put the furry one, the loop, halfway so you create a lip uh, and that, that's where the other side is going to sit on and connect while you're wearing it. Then take the straps, draw on some lines and then score them with a knife lightly and then use a heat gun to make the lines pop just for details. Then we're going to glue those straps in from the back and we're going to put the armor back on and measure where it gets snug. So I measured and this is where I thought was good so I glued it there. You can see it fits nice and neat. Then I permanently attach the Velcro onto the armor once I have figured out the size of the straps. For the detail tubing, I'm using foam backer rod. You can find this on Amazon or hardware stores. You can use 3.8 and 5.8. Use the thinner one for the detail of the armor and the bigger, thicker one for the lower part of the bottom. I used uh, contact cement to glue this. Remember to pinch to get 90 degree angles on the corners. Take your time and you'll get a nice result. So I did that for the whole armor, and you can see the bottom one, the bottom trim is a little bit thicker. It looks really nice and looks really clean with this on. Now we're going to seal the armor before paint. You can use PVA glue mixed with water. I'm going to use this bounce again just to finish it up. Both are fine. 
You can put one or two coats. I recommend two on this, just especially for the tubing. It needs a little bit more sealing, so that way it's not so grainy. Then I painted it a base coat with white acrylic paint. I just brushed it on. You can add a little bit of water to make it go on a little bit smoother, or you can just leave it uh, as is. Remember to get in all the little uh, edges there inside of the tubing, so that way it doesn't show through. Then I mixed a yellow color and I added a few coats of that to get a nice uh, thick coat. You can see here, it's coming along nicely. Now I'm going to touch up a lot of the yellow that I got over onto the tubing. Just took a little brush and with some white paint and I cleaned that up. Then you need a black sharpie. Just run the sharpie along the inside of the tubing. This will give the armor an, a cool cartoony anime look. Panel lining basically. I did some detail lines on the stomach and the back. I just kind of did it freehand. I didn't want to make it too serious. I wanted to keep the cartoony, carefree look. I also added some rounded edges on the stomach part. I just wanted to give a little bit more of a cartoony feel. I also did this on the back as well. This is the same armor all completed. I gave it a cartoon look. Maybe in another video I'll do a tutorial on you know detailing and giving it battle damage and shadow effects and whatnot. I just want to do a simple paint job that you could do at home. You don't need spray paints or anything like that, fancy equipment or anything, you can do it. I did it on one table in a condo, so you can do it too. But of course, if you had the option, you can of course seal it with Plasti Dip and spray paint, it'll be a lot quicker. This is a good option if you're limited with space and materials. What's included with the template is this video when you download it. Also, a copy of my Heroes Workshop costume building tutorial series. It teaches you how to use Peppercore Designer. And there's also a lot of extra videos in that tutorial series that help you with uh, extra added tips that I showed along the way in my own foam building progression. So share this video with all your Dragon Ball fans. You can build your own armors, you can go to cons and have a blast. So this is Stefano, aka Stealth, Mirror's Workshop, and follow along and I'll be back soon.